My master... safe. The scriptures... sound. All I ever wanted was a life in my mountain, free from you and your so-called merits. Those high above don't trust me. I understand. And they send you and those knuckleheads to threaten me. To obey and serve once more. <laughs> I understand that too. But what I don't understand is... You bastards killing my kind! not just any monkey. He's a monkey of merit. A monkey was made Buddha once. None other than me can challenge him to a duel. Look, monkey. I don't make a habit of fighting someone I've bested before. Here's my offer. If you lose, I'll take you to the Celestial Court. They will stay and level your mountain. But if I lose, I shall certainly take revenge, and they will level your mountain nonetheless. Hmm. How tragic would that be, huh? You are one of the court. We don't need to resort to violence. How about you bend the knees, admit the wrongs, and we can put this behind us? <laughs> All these years, except for that pig, you're the one who talks the tallest tales. Good, I am entertained. Speaking of entertainment, wouldn't it be fun if I pluck your extra eye out for my snack and allow you to keep the other two? Because I'd hate to let you miss how I'll slaughter each mongrel of the court. Those below, those above, and that black mutt of yours. Come at me, all of you. They gave you many chances. 
chances, yet you spurned each one with such ingratitude. <laughs> Fighting Buddha, have you any idea how many would give their everything for immortality? Immortality? <laughs> for that word, all realms and beings have ruined themselves. Court welcomed you, foul monkey, yet you remain untamed. None shall save you now. <laughs> Dear brother, your edge needs homing. Good. I was in need of a back scratcher. <laughs> Grrr! <laughs> 
You call that a duel? The glare up here is dazzling. Fight me in the woods if you have the guts. Yeah. And so ends the last tale of Sun Wukong. A hero who treasured his freedom above all else. Buddhahood he attained, yes, but cumbersome he found the celestial rules, for he yearned to come back and to revel in the simple joys with us. Little did he know, his choice to forgo the life above only fueled their mistrust. <sighs> this stone has stood for countless days on the mountain. Since my youth, they've said that his remains lie within it. <clears throat> Unbegotten, undying, such is the nature of a stone monkey. Though his body was broken, his spirit endures. Into six relics he turned, and separately they escaped, choosing to stay hidden. Those are the six senses of the great sage. Yet no one has ever seen them, not in centuries. I'm old now. Venture through all the lands, I cannot. Yet among you, there might be one who is destined. One that shall recover all his scattered relics. And upon the return of the relics to Mount Tuaguo, he may yet rise again.
bend the cold life of human or for gold. Oh, nowhere better than a home. We cheat death and ever grow. Huh? Yeah. You see what bliss my face shows. Well, so well. <laughs> Luck's around the corner. Seems like he just fell from oh, a fruit yes. tree here. Perfect timing. This peach knew I needed a snack. You sneaky rascal! Dad, fool me! I'll make sure you regret it! No matter how many times you come around, your schedule is... Mischievous as ever, eh? for pluck your hair and make an offer. Mountain have long been waiting for your arrival. Oh, his spitting image, I'd say. Up ahead is Guan Yin Temple. Once it was bustling with worshippers, before it was ruined by that fire. Ah, then the temple was rebuilt. Oh, what good is it to rebuild a temple if the goodwill of men has been burnt to ashes? You've forgotten this place, but they haven't forgotten you. It's a tough one. Good luck to you!
It's been a while, but the immobilized spell still works like a charm. <laughs> Since you hail from Mount Huaguo, it won't hurt to teach you a handy trick. Now, here we go. Give me your hand. There you go. Should you come across any miscreants, just point your finger at them and release this spell. You'll be able to hold them in place while giving yourself a breather. Sadly, mine is but a humble trick. Its power will wear off within a few short moments. Though it's good enough against boneheads like this one. Anyway, just consider it an ace up your sleeve. No! The young boys these days know no manners! Fear not! Teach them a lesson with your new spell! Master said something about a rare guest. <laughs> Thank <laughs> you. 
Wait! You don't think you can just parade in, do you? It's not that simple. Let me transform you into a golden cicada, so you may follow the fires ahead and scout this mountain unnoticed. Fly! <laughs> It might be humble, but my shrine is very versatile. You'll get it soon. In the depths of Black Wind Mountain, there are secrets galore. The cicada form may help you explore, but be wary. This form does not last forever. Should you find yourself lost, just follow my voice. Now, off you go. That white wolf is a tough one. The rest of the pack are worse. Come <laughs> on. 
So that really is... Monkey, I see. Why don't you lay down your weapon and join me in Bruce's mercy? What say you? Come <laughs> on. 
You just had to make some noise, did you? Now everyone knows you're here. When a chime so grand echoes in the forest, Yao Guais will surely be alarmed.
don't want to set off that beast. In the backyard is Black Wind Gwai's ally, calls itself Ling Shutsa. Considering your strength, I suggest you oh, get away while you can, little monkey. Once you pass that gate, there's no turning back!
know that it's dead, you might as well take a good look around. A great pill, a black wing guide, gifted the wolf. Find it would be a deserving reward for that fight. <laughs>